Hello and welcome to this short video in the series of videos showing how to format TMAs. In this video, I'm going to look at the importance of using word counts correctly in assignments. The instructions for this TMA1 state you must provide a word count for each question or question part where a limit is specified. And for question 1a, for example, you're told the maximum word limit for question 1a is 70 words. Therefore, your answer to question 1a should finish with a statement of the words you have used. Here's how you would do this in this dummy TMA. And remember, this is not a real TMA document. Select the text in your answer. And the number of words used will appear down here in the status bar. Left click on the box itself for detailed information about the text you've selected or with no text selected you can get details about the whole document. If the word count doesn't show up in your status bar then right click the status bar and select the feature here. And then the status bar will show the number of words you're using. Now you can easily find out the number of words you're using in each question. You can go on to provide a word count statement wherever this is required. So, which parts of my TMA answers should be included in the word count? Words used in question titles, tables and references do not count towards the word limit. Always use your own words and do not copy text from any source unless you are asked to provide a quotation to support your work. This will need to be correctly referenced. For the first TMA, quotations are not asked for. These are used mainly in reports and you will be asked to write these in your later studies with the OU. For TMA01, we are evaluating your ability to read material, to make notes and to then write in your own words, providing answers within the given limits where specified. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.